Hello everybody and welcome back to Darren Augustus Plays as I creepily look in Pravati's glowing eyes. Let's see, last time we left off, Poison Ivy over here was telling us that we need to help the people. So I think we're going to help the people. Now, as soon as I figure out what I need to do exactly. But I might do a couple side quests actually. There is a one where we have to find a girl who's probably dead, but let's see. <laughs> How far away is that? Oh, it's right there. All right, Zoe, did you leave any clues behind? Oh, I, I thought it might have been some hidden behind. You know, just ignore that. So that's it then. No more edge water for me. No more cannery. No more jumpsuits and gloves. Yes, ma'ams, and would you like another's? I don't know why I'm writing this down for posterity's sake, because I've always hated the cannery, and I don't think I'll ever have to look back to this journal many years hence and tell myself, oh wow, I did hate the veil once, didn't I? Just because I got sick. Everybody gets sick. Well, okay. I got sick and I grabbed a little too much adrenatine. Is that really a crime? I gotta treat myself when I'm sick, don't I? Whatever happened to personal responsibility and surviving by one's own bootstraps? Okay, but you misappropriated one box of adrenatine and suddenly you're committing larceny. Hmm. Hmm. We definitely don't hear stories like that nowadays. <laughs> okay, I can just sleep in her bed. Great. Uh, where? There's got to be something hidden away somewhere. Ah, here we go. Well, today's a day, Zoe. Today is a day you take your destiny into your own hand. I've been listening to Grace talk about the Marauder threat. Bands of wild, free-spirited bandits living in camps out in the hills, warming themselves by the light of barrel fires, probably mounted the heads of their enemies on spikes as a warning to folk like me living a life of comfort and ease free of any rules i bet they could take the whole region if they are if they were organized i've been tucking away some of adeline's food and i've got some spare coins oh spell spare cans of salt in a should last me a couple of weeks if i ration got some adrenaline time too everybody loves adrenaline time even marauders right I got odds these marauders will let me throw in with them if I dangle a couple syringes of adrenaline before their eyes. This is going to be great. Look out, Terra 2. Bandit Queen Zoe's origin story has just begun. I'm going to have a whole gang of marauders at my back and call. Beck and call. Jesus. Maybe I could even score some Rizos. You're dead. You're so dead. Well. Looks like we're about to find us a body, boys. Keep looking at the big plant. Don't notice me. Oh crap. Oops. Crap. Retreat! Retreat! Oh god. Jesus. Alright. Come here. Alright. Provide? Provide? Are you okay?
Yep, she was super dead. Mm, we'll wait on that. That is a whole leg right there. A absolute whole leg. Okay. <laughs> looty, looty, loot. Let's not. Let's not. I saw, I saw that. Let's close that door. All right. Hmm. Am I going to have to fight my way through this? Trespassing, lockpicking, hacking, and murder are all considered illegal activities and are frowned upon by society. Avoid being seen if you want to engage in these activities without consequence. Okay. Hi. But I mean, I'm stealing from bandits. Is that the same thing? Hmm. Ah, screw it. We're gonna fight our way through. I'm really invested in melee. Oh, no, <laughs> oh yeah, I really need to invest in melee. Hello? Can I please have your stuff? A foot with ammo in it. That's great. How did I even do that? Carrying too much stuff, great. Um, let me try and sort this out real quick. All right, I just upgraded some stuff instead, so I don't have to worry about my weight for right now. So let's get back to it. Uh, hey, you're not a body, huh? Wow. You crossed them all off, like some sort of heroic accountant running down a list. Teach me your ways. Heroic accountant. Jesus, this is bad. Hmm. You're Zoe. Your people are looking for you. What? You mean Adelaide's little congregation of nature-loving nobodies? I could not possibly be less interested in them. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. I mean, considering I just woke up not too long ago and got sent out of a spaceship, probably not. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, I need you to clarify something for me. I'm great at clarifying. Are you a prisoner here? Uh, no. I insinuated myself into their company, see? And they didn't seem to mind one whit. Huh. I'm impressed. How did you pull it off? I may have farted them a few boxes of Adrena time, but I'm sure that's got nothing to do with it. Oh, well, you kind of already knew that. How are you even alive? I don't know. The vital processes that constitute the miracle of life are mysterious and unknowable. Oh, you mean around these guys? The Marauders wouldn't hurt me. They love me. I'm practically their queen. It must be my natural charisma. My BS meter is going off. Why'd you leave camp? I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling sick with plague and stealing some medicine to treat myself. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them, seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. Instead, what do I find? But a bunch of former workers camped out around a greenhouse. I couldn't just go back to the cannery, so I was stuck with them. Hmm, huh, that's fair. Go for something else, actually. I've got all the time in Halcyon. I don't. I've been sent to find you. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. I can't argue with that, so... <laughs> Just straight up go back to camp. I can't imagine you're happy out here. Food's awful, company's worse, and no serial dramas. This is true. Dramas, hmm. And no serial dramas. I've been thinking about going back. I just gotta know if Lord Cavendish really is the masked marketeer. I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace is gonna be glaring knives at me. So I've got that to look forward to. <laughs> yeah, it's not the murder and the crime and just, yeah, the wilderness and all that. It's the serials. Yeah, that's the thing. Then again, if I didn't have Game of Thrones, I don't know what I would do, so, meh. What is it? Jeez, you don't have to be so mean. I talked Zoe into coming back. We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened, anyway? She totally hated y'all. Uh, she joined up with a band of marauders. They hadn't hurt her. Zoe joined up with a band of marauders. Zoe. The same Zoe who doesn't know a barrel from a trigger. Well, well I've heard stranger things. I feel like You it's pretty bad. much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. Oh, yes. Let me know if I can do something for you. Thank you. Alrighty. Oh, that's tight. He feels like to follow me around before he left the cannery. Oh, okay. Oh, ah, uh, didn't see you there. I was, uh, well, I was just occupying myself with a little engineer. Whoa, Miss Parvati. <laughs> hey, you're, uh, what, um, how, how are you? Hi, hi, hi. Uh, hello. Are you, uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so... Wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no. I, I'm just along with this fella here. Are you from town? Uh, I mean, you don't exactly look like you're from town. 
Is there something going on here? I'm definitely going to pry it if I can. I'm just trying to get my ship off the ground. That's just rude. Never heard it phrased in such a way before. I guess we're all trying to get our ships off the ground, ain't we? Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. Fact is, I've been, well, lying to everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. Jesus. It's never too late to start learning. I can give you a couple pointers. <laughs> You're lucky your camp's full of idiots. Jesus. I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in Mechanical. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. Didn't I already find those? You mentioned two pads. What about the third? I wish I knew. I wager the town had the full set once upon a time. Where the third's gone, I can't say. Today's your lucky day, Thomas. I've got one of those data pads you wanted. No kidding. Really? Well, which one? The Elusive Part 3. Someone stashed it away inside the old geothermal plant. The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible! You really went exploring down there? Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. In fact, I put aside something special. On the off chance that somebody would search out those data pads for me. I'll let you know if I find any others. Sure. I'd be glad to take them off your hands. I want to ask you something. What's on your mind? I didn't want to ask that. Nah. How long have you lived here? A couple months. This camp's my home. People you see milling about, they're my family. At least I think of them that way. I owe them my life. Would have died in the wilderness if they hadn't chanced upon me, starving and delirious. Why were you out there? We all left the cannery for one reason or another. Me? I was let go. Mostly on account of my incompetence. <laughs> I mean, I was incompetent. I couldn't even survive on my own. Grace found me, Adelaide took me in, I've been on my feet ever since. You weren't incompetent. You just didn't fit the cannery. Not like here. This place had a U-shaped hole, and now it doesn't. You could stay, you know. Here. I'd be happy to... I mean, uh, we could really use... Uh, this isn't coming out right. Uh, if you want... Adelaide would make a place for you. She's mine. You can't have her. But that's cute. Is there anywhere I can sell stuff? Because I have a lot of stuff. Are you a door? I mean, you are a door, but that's not a door door. I need to sell stuff. This is a whole kitchen. Okay. What in the world? And this is a bathroom. What's up? If you're hungry, Stefan's got supplies. Where's Stefan? Ah. Hi, Stefan. Zoe says she fought her way out of a marauder camp with her own bare hands. BS. Knew it. Fresh off the limb, and that includes Kami Butte. 
Your merchant skill is equal to the value of your best dialogue skill and it's used to negotiate prices when buying and selling from vendors. Yeah, I definitely need to sell stuff. Okay. A bunch of nanners. <laughs> Literally a bunch of nanners. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll keep that. Sell one of y'all. Boulder pistol. Where did I get this? Why is it red? I'm gonna keep it though. Mm. I'll keep those two though. I might need them. Sell one of those. Keep that. Let's see here. Oh, no, Jesus, no. Okay, I basically did it anyway. Whatever. You hungry? Thing? We got canid ribs, canid flank, canid snout too. Something I can help you with? Fresh off the limb, and that includes canid meat. Really love canid meat. That is two thousand credits. Yeah, not now. All right. I guess we'll go ahead and get back on the main quest now. So wait, Vicar was in the city the whole time? God dang it.
So I've always thought beer was not a good thing. Is this the church? Huh. Okay. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison. Anything at all. Spiritual counseling. This season's toss ball predictions. The quickest way out of town. I don't trust anybody named Maximilian. Um, Providi wanted to talk to you about what Reed asked us to do. But what? I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? What? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Bad things. But I get paid. Um, cut power to the deserters. If you can answer quickly, hurry. <laughs> no, just cut power off to Adelaide's deserters. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. What do you think of Adelaide's group figure? They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? <laughs> do you consider this life? Oh, I can't use that. Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, this is going to open up a lot of choices. Hmm. I spoke to the deserters. They have some disagreements about the town's leadership. <laughs> no doubt. But order is the nature of our universe. Some lead, others must follow. You might as well complain about the gravity being too high. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. Again, that's kind of rude. And why is that? One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. <laughs> a handsome sum, you say? Tell me more. Why would a vicar be out to ban heretical books? True. I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. <laughs> like the truth. Seems to me the authorities will be interested to hear your offer. Hear you after this contraband text. Hmm. I'll need to know a little bit more about this book before I agree to this. It's a handwritten journal. A faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? It is not only a beautiful relic of a bygone time. It's also the thoughts of an early thinker on the nature of man's place in the cosmos. Not many in this colony could understand its true value. Should they ever read it. 
I'll look for it. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Hmm. Any progress on that matter we discussed? That's it. Please get it. You seem pretty concerned about that book. Care to tell me why? A religious text deemed heretical by the OSI is an unsafe object at large. Though I understand why a collector would desire to possess such a rare book. Because I'm also a collector of books. Rare things in this colony. Appreciation of the written word outside monthly periodicals is virtually unknown here. Hmm. That was suspicious. What sort of a spiritual advice do you offer? They who are not satisfied with their work are satisfied with nothing. No. How about, um, work fortifies the spirit. True exhaustion awaits idle hands. <laughs> Oh boy. Um, I was actually asking what your religion was all about. The OSI teaches that the Grand Architect set a perfect system in motion at the beginning of time. Contentment is found by accepting one's role in that grand plan. So you literally created a religion around work. Jesus. The Order of Scientific Inquiry, also known as Scientism to the layperson. Totally not Scientology. How do you talk to this grand architect? Prayer? Meditation? Or what? You don't talk to the grand architect. Once the universe was set in motion, it stepped back. It has no concern for us. <laughs> Doesn't sound like a very motivational religious philosophy. What's there to aspire to? We will eventually decode the plan and all its intricacies. Once we are able to deduce the properties of every particle in the universe and its trajectory, we will know everything. The hell? The future, the past, each person's place within the plan, all will be laid out before us. Removing struggle and bringing peace. No one will ever need question their path again. Some even believe this ultimate knowledge will unlock mankind's true potential, and we will all become akin to grand architects ourselves, after a fashion. So you toil and work extraordinarily hard in order to one day become a god. Alright. That seems unlikely. I would love to discuss the finer points of my religion with you. Oh, wait. No, I wouldn't. Seriously, though, to truly understand the metaphysics involved takes years of study and contemplation. <laughs> okay. I've never seen you before, and there's been no paperwork indicating a transfer. Half the time it's wrong, but a new worker without paperwork? Unheard of. Also, you lack the distinctive worker gaze. Usually either a deadening behind the eyes, or in some rare cases, a wild-eyed frenzy, like a trapped animal. Pretty universal here. Except for Miss Holcomb, who for some reason doesn't seem to have much to say to me. Isn't that right? It's just... there's more to it all than numbers. Sorry. Hmm. Very self-aware. Maybe it's because you're so dismissive. Quite inappropriate for a vicar, isn't it? Oh, nothing could be further from the truth. I'm simply bemoaning the level of spiritual awareness in this town. <laughs> isn't it your job to raise that? Yes, but there are few who hear me in this miserable place. I must double my efforts to elevate my flock. These are good, hard-working people here. Hold on. Did you just refer to this town as a miserable place? Yes. And thank you for pointing it out. It is wrong of me to succumb to the stress. This place could be so much more, and I will continue in my quest to make it so. 
Yeah, if you didn't treat everybody like slaves. Jesus. All right. Hey there, Mary. Don't see you around here too often. Oh, I just came to talk to the vicar as well. I never thought about confessionals. What have you got to confess? You ain't thinking of deserting, are you? What? No, 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 no. And I resent the accusation. Wasn't nothing but a question. Do excuse me. I must be on my way. Verity to you. Hmm. What's up? Talking to the good vicar always lifts up my spirits. <laughs> Not like you got much else to lift up your spirits. All right. I'm kind of curious, and I want to find that book. Parvati, do you have any thoughts on this? Something you need? Thomas seemed very fond of you. Oh, yeah. Give me the juicy deets. He's just interested in fixing stuff. Uh huh. He always used to follow me around, asking me to explain what I was doing. Like a puppy, kinda. I've not lately seen a man with a bigger or more obvious crush. <laughs> Are you sure? He nearly fell over? Oh, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the tool he was thinking with was definitely not a wrench. Okay, I, if I was the bad guy, I would definitely say that, but I'm not going to say that. I'm just glad he's alive. That he's okay. I mean, when Mr. Thompson said he was fired, we all expected the worst. Mm -hmm. If he wants to learn about engineering, you should help him get those data pads he mm -hmm. wants. I'd like to do that for him. Mm-hmm. You mean about the mission being too clean? Isn't it supposed to be clean? It's a church. I know, but Vicar says the universe is a machine, that it runs by law. Real machines have gunked up oil, scratches, and worn bits. You can tell they've seen handling, been used by folk. The machine Vicar sees is one that ain't never been run. It, it's not for people to live in. It's something on a museum shelf, under glass. Huh. It's an ideal, not what we live in, but what we strive for. And why do you want to talk to him? Hmm. It just comes off cold to me, is all. You think what the devil gonna give us? Okay, where is this quest? It is out of the city. That is terrifying. Maybe I shouldn't walk through the front door. Let's go this way. Okay, keep them quiet. Hmm. 
Wait, was this the area I passed by earlier? I killed everybody. Oh, oh. Yes, it was. I just got the letter today. Corporate ordered me to relocate to the Edgewater Cannery. Effective immediately. It's a shame. I was really looking forward to running my own gift shop at the community center. Selling rare memorabilia. The scripture tells us that all things happen for a reason. Work fortifies the spirit and all. As for my book collection, I can't bear to part with it. Don't want those books smoldering in some contraband locker. So I stashed them all away in a cave over by the river. Was that that cave that I saw earlier? I was like, not going into it. Hmm. Oh, okay. Your theories, Clement, I find I must disagree with your theories about the Earth's director, its place in colonial system, in the colonial system. Sadly, as much as I appreciate the board and the new frontier they've opened for us, I believe Helysian and all other colonies on the rim of the galaxy would fall to pieces for war amongst themselves if the Earth directorate wasn't around to regulate trade and settle disputes. Do you think the corporations would accept the mandated inclusion of an Earth minister if they had a choice in the matter? Probably not. Grab it. Spirit of Adventure. Jefferson, of course, I'd never dispute that Earth is the heart of the whole colonial system, but the real adventure and independent spirit upon which humankind truly thrives is to be found out here amongst the furthest colonies. I still think you're wrong about the history, though. The discovery of the skip drive was not what gave the Earth Directorate power over the corporations. The high costs of the Great War left them in a weakened state, and the skip drive was simply the extra leverage the Directorate needed to return to power. Clement. Hmm. Starting to get more details about the Warring Factions, or what I presume would be the Warring Factions. Yeet. Yeet. Why did he have to put it so far away? Why is there overturned stuff? That worries me. Yeah, it was this cave. Why am I sensing enemies? Can I read that journal by any chance?
can't read it. Huh. Any thoughts? Yeah, huh? Guess not. Okay. Wait. So, any got your book. Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I wait. What the fuck is this? Is this French? I can't fucking read French. <laughs> what? It's a law forsaken joke is what it is. French. Ha! I was so high and mighty preaching to the yokels about following the plan while fighting it at every turn. Okay. <laughs> you didn't want that book to keep others from reading it. You just wanted it for yourself. <laughs> that book seems a bit more important than you let on. There is little more important than such a precious, rare text. I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. Nobody can speak French or anything nowadays? Jesus. Okay. Mm. Why did you think the book held secrets you were looking for? <laughs> I figured he was smart enough to know his religion was BS. Bokonu, the author, had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the Philosophist School of Thought, so the book is banned in this colony. What's a Philosophist? Philosophism's a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They believe all is chaos, in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. But most of the Philosophist perversion of Bakonu's thoughts came more than a century after his death. <laughs> so it's like a religion based around Peter Baelish. Great. A vicar searching for a banned book sets a bad example, doesn't it? At least you still have your mission, your work. <laughs> this has to be some kind of cosmic retribution. Uh... The story of my life. Most lay people are not aware of this, but we've not discovered any new insights into the plan for a long, long time. I had an idea that we should welcome the truth, no matter where we found it. I had the worst idea to share my thoughts with a superior. <laughs> and that's how I ended up assigned prison duty, where I was fool enough to let an inmate bend my ear with stories of an original Bokonu journal. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. What? Wait, you're a companion? Uh, could be a beneficial arrangement. You need a ride out of town. I wouldn't mind a ship hand. What's in it for me? Free spiritual counseling. You want Someone to watch your back. Not to mention a grown-up in the party. I'm 28. <laughs> exactly. I'm pretty handy with a toss ball stick. Or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. Now that's useful. Uh, all right. <laughs> Spiritual counseling, are you even a real vicar? Of course, I'm a vicar who is dedicated to his calling. 
more dedicated than any other you'll find in this colony. I joined the OSI to help decipher the grand plan. But instead, I ended up the vicar in a prison due to ignorance and politics. Then I came here. Satisfied? Bruh, as a preacher, how did you not understand that politics was going to be a part of it? Sounds good. Let's go. Fantastic. Let me get my things in order and I'll catch up with you. Bridgewater's gonna miss you. Folk here always had good things to say about their vicar. Thank you, Ms. Holcomb. I'll be glad for the change of scenery and to leave this place behind. I shall see you on the ship, Captain, whenever you're ready to leave Emerald Vale. All right. Well, I think that's enough quests for right now. Probably do a couple more after this. And I guess, yeah, I guess I'll cut it off right here. So thank you for watching the video and I'll have another one up soon. See you.